I'm just going to give you a quick video tour of the shop just so people can see you know, where we work every day. Uh, so it's a good place to start. So this is one of the only bikes that I still have, uh, you know, one of my original custom builds. Um, this is kind of, you know, again, where the idea of CCW grew out of, you know, nice, inexpensive British single, unreliable as hell, but a uh, beautiful bike to ride. And, you know, this was a idea for starting Cleveland Cycle Works because I love riding the bike, but it's not exactly up to modern standards. Uh, if you ride it hard, it breaks. <laughs> so uh, I wanted a more reliable BSA, basically. Um, and we'll, we'll kind of continue over here. So these are two of our race bikes. Um, so this bike has been uh, on the dirt track quite a few times, and it's been crashed quite a few times. But um, you know, we just take uh, this one on the dirt oval, and this is the Ace, and this is our modified Ace. Um, if you've ever seen the company, you've probably seen a few uh, photos of, of this bike. Um, the bike next to it is our land speed record heist. So this bike holds two land speed records. Um, one's for modified push rod gas and then modified push rod fuel. Um, and this is just a very uh, mild build for us. And uh, the idea behind this bike was that we would build a mild build and we'd have people that could potentially beat our land speed record. So we have uh, two, um, two pots out there that haven't been claimed yet. So the first two people to beat our land speed record, we have, I think it's $1,500 out there for the first two people to beat our land speed record. Um, and then here is just our, um, we call this our living room. It's just a nice, comfortable space for us to create and meet with customers. Um, and then over here, this is the Misfit, and uh, I think I'll put it on the rear stand so you can see it better. And this bike is completely stock, so um, this is uh, yeah, just a completely stock Misfit on a battery tender here in our showroom, ready to ride. Um, we have a demo Misfit right next to it. Um, this one has a few, few power modifications on it, so this bike's a little bit faster. Um, has one of our Made in Cleveland exhausts. Uh, full stainless exhaust and just a little bit of engine work on it, but other than that, completely stock. And then right next to it, we have our heists. And um, again, we, you know, we do a lot of custom bikes because we enjoy customizing bikes. So these are just two custom heists that we have in the shop here. Um, mostly take them around to shows and um, you know, just show people what we can do with the, with the bike. Next to that is the Hooligan. So this is our on-road. So this is the Hooligan R, and uh, this is a Motard version. And um, this one is carbureted, it's a very simple uh, you know, carbureted bike. Motor is 450cc, liquid-cooled, uh, it's overhead cam motor. And we'll head back into the shop. Say hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. <laughs> so Steve's our uh, head mechanic. And then he's got one of our heists on the lift here. Um, and it's just our small workshop here. And, you know, with a limited set of tools, we can pretty much build anything that we need to back here. Um, you know, limited tools, but a lot of, uh, a lot of skill. So Steve just putting a little refresh on our, our heist here. And let's, we'll take a walk through here. And then we have just a small, uh, small parts area here where we, uh, we keep a lot of aftermarket parts. Um, you know, stuff like this. Um, so these are, you know, just some, uh, you know, made in America. These are just some gas caps, a little dusty. <laughs> and then um, you want to see what Connor's working on? All right. Well, Connor, I'll let you, I'll let you go through it. So Connor's one of our uh, designers here. Um, all right, so let me introduce this project. Uh, we call it Project DNA Level C, um, and what it is, it's pretty much an advanced uh, electric motorcycle concept. Uh, we started this project about a week and a half ago, and we're going pretty full throttle with the research and the sketching and kind of now just digging into the form language and different proportions, um, different styles. So what you see here are preliminary sketches, and soon to come we'll be posting on the blog. Uh, for the refinement on the design. You know, Cleveland Cycle Works kind of grew up with everything being exposed on the internet. So, 
um, we're going to use this project to, you know, really get the barometer for what people want. And um, this is this is as real as it gets. I mean, we have our intern working on production motorcycles, so um, this is an advanced project that's going to be taken into production, and um, we're going to try to do this this bike 100% in the U.S. So, I mean, that that shows you how quickly we can take an idea to production. And the beautiful thing about electric motorcycles is we don't have to go through the 12 months of EPA regulation. So we can release this to the market pretty quickly.